Okay, so we're back. We're gonna just dive right into some uh, undermine. I have no idea what's changed about the. Ro I I don't even know where to access the true and proper roguelike mode. Uh, but that's fine. What can we craft? We can craft 108 beads. Heal when praying at an altar. Wow, that's actually real good. I should remember to pick it up. I've forgotten how to pick things up. Oh, the last stage has been added. Hey. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's buy the lot of these. Can't get anything else. Everything is good. Down we go. I haven't played this game in a while. It's one of those it's one of those roguelikes where I played a bunch of it early on. Enjoyed the process, but I I think I've been kind of uh I'm not going to say burnt out on I have no idea what difficulty level I'm on. I don't even remember how to change it. So, we're just on whatever difficulty this level is and that might be a bit of a cakewalk. It is what it is. Uh we're just going to do one run like this. Hey. Uh, let's see. Hey, thank you, Chaotic Dev, for the 100 bits. Good luck on the run. I need no luck. I just need more moolah. I'll probably be fine. I think I think I'm actually overpowered for this uh this level. It is what it is. Uh, it's fine. But yeah, so I think I've just been a little uh, let's see. What is this? More bomb damage. Hmm. Lose less gold on death. I don't think we really need that. More throw damage. Remove the curse. Chance to crit. Let's go for chance to crit. Normally go for the throw damage, but crit chance is something that I haven't stacked up. Seems like it's worth it. Okay. Decreases swing speed. Got it. Also, thank you, Tyron CZ, for the f uh, five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Ah! This is going to be one of those games that I'm not going to be able to have a consistent train of thought because everything is on fire, and that's okay. Uh, bam. All right. What's the candle room? I don't remember. Oh, candle room is an altar. Well, free healing. It doesn't look like we get more money, though. Well, throw speed it is. I'm going to just stack curses. Okay. Is it just me, or is this game real quiet? It kind of feels like it. Ooh, Keyblade! Oh, that's swing damage for each key you have. Oh, I think that used to be all damage. Maybe? I could be wrong. Wow, okay. I was, oh, Summoning Stone level 4. Okay, so we're actually on a decent, def decent difficulty level. I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Okay, maybe not that much. That might be... that might be a bit too much. Let's do 75. I've been... Well, I guess I was playing Remnant from the Ashes right before this. Oh, it even tells you if the uh, if you've been to the the altar room with the candle there. I like that. Okay, there we go. Don't fall in the pit. We are good. Ah, ah. Okay, just smack him up, and we're good. Crap. Okay, I am missing things here, but thank you, uh, little Timmy Kiss. Timmy? K-Y? I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you for the f five bits. What do you think of Valorant? I don't actually. Um, it's not that I have anything against the game. I'm just not a big Riot Games fan. Uh, their games tend to operate under... Well, they're very competitive games, and I'm not a, I'm not a big competitive person. I enjoy my games to be cooperative, or the competition to be... Light. Uh, easy example. Easiest example I can think of uh, would be. I really like. Uh, I really enjoy. What is the game? Whoops. Uh, Offworld Trading Company. I think Offworld Trading Company is an absolute, absolutely fantastic game. Largely because the the direct competition is so minor. Uh, you know, you will interact with each other, but you don't actually really butt up against each other up until the very end. And so it's, uh, wow, we are just getting keys left and right. Uh, uh, let's see. 
But so, you know, there's there's not a whole lot of focus on winning and losing. It's more about uh, trying to do as best as you possibly can. And then you kind of just win at the end because you buy out all of your enemies. There's a little bit more interaction than that, but still. Uh, same thing with a number of certain board games along the way. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's this one. This is this is the room where I can leave things for future runs, or just remove something from the pool entirely. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's see. Also, thank you, Nap, uh, Royal Dirt for the 200 bits Choo Choo Hype Train. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and Tiron CZ for the thousand bits. This is going to be distracting. Get out of here, rat! You don't belong in that box. Rats deserve to be in comfy cages. I always feel bad how rats are just kind of this this ubiquitous generic enemy in, in RPGs and various games and stuff. Uh, there we go. Uh, I had a pet rat growing up, and I named it Martin. Admittedly, it was a female rat, and <laughs> very much was not a hero mouse from Redwall, but I loved it dearly. It was super cute. Whoops. I would spoil it silly with Fruit Loops and slugs. Rats really like slugs. Rats are cuddly and shoulder companions. Yeah. Somebody gets it. Okay, do we want to... Yeah, I'll grab the lightning bomb just because. This is KYS. Thanks for actually a answering. Yeah. So, I think if Valorant had a, uh, a cooperative mode or like a... Uh, whoops. Ow. A cooperative mode or, like, a light competitive mode, which pretty much doesn't exist. Uh, old tower defenses from Battle.net. A lot of old Battle.net games, I think, are good examples of exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Burns nearby enemies. Fire some fireballs. I These just aren't useful, and I can't get those. Okay, so it's just Black Rabbit's Bizarre. Or I could sell a relic. Yes. Because that th that's just swing damage. So let's get rid of both of these. Can Okay. So I can't sell her more. But then again, Keyblade's kind of useful. Just because. Uh, let's see. Also, thank you, Toink, for the five gifted subs. Choo-choo. Yeah! Let's see, is this a bad time to talk to you about our lord and savior, Wall Gold? No! I mean, at this point, I've come to terms with it. Just early on playing this game, having a billion people just getting low-key mad at me for, uh... That probably wasn't worth it. Uh, low-key mad at me for missing wall gold was just a little trying after a while. Like, how could you miss it? Oh my god, you're so blind. Like, I don't know. I... One of my goals the past... I guess one of my goals last year was to have kind of more... I'm going to say self-respect, and some of that that involves, like, zero tolerance for people uh, being abusive. And then this year is no grinding. I, each year I try and set one goal for myself. A personal goal to just kind of say, Hey, uh... Hi, what are you? Uh, store a piece for, of food for later. Now nah, let's re-roll this room. I don't really feel it. Feel this. Ooh! Lucky Clover's not bad. It's not the best. But it'll, it'll do. I like it. Okay, fish kebab. Let's just buy some bombs. I mean, money is kind of no object in this game, so it's totally fine. Okay, transforms all relics in the room. Avoid falling into holes. Let's grab that. I don't get to reroll much in this game. But that doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Uh, let's see, no grinding. So how many JRPGs are you looking into playing? Uh, the next JRPG I'm probably going to play... Uh, we'll be... Uh... Xenoblade Chronicles Remaster. Unless, of course, you count Wonderful 101. I'm gonna be playing both of those. And both of them don't really involve a whole lot of grinding, from my experience. Ah. Uh, thought you wouldn't play this again, because of the wall gold rant. I... The thing is mostly... Uh, I don't know. I absolutely will play games again, but there's such a thing as kind of poisoning the well. And so sometimes, yeah, I do actually have to take a bit of a break and say like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just come back later. And so that's kind of what this is. It also, like I said, 
I've been playing too many early access games that aren't done yet, and that sort of thing weighs me down a little bit. Like, uh, easiest example, game came out recently called Industries of Titan. Lovely game, really good, but it's only got about an hour's worth of content on it, so it's like, I was really excited for it, and now I'm just kind of, I'm okay. You know, I'll gladly play more of it when more, you know, more of the game comes out. Let's see. But yeah, right now, not super not super terribly motivated to play more because it's just it's not done yet, and it won't be done for a while. And it sucks. And so I was kinda having that feeling with Undermine to some degree that's like, it's a great game, but it just needed more. These guys are ready to snag my gold. There we go. Uh, let's see. And because I played a lot of Slay the Spire and Dead Cells when they were in early access, now I don't have the energy to fully en uh, to enjoy the full release. Yup. I had that same problem with uh, Slay the Spire. In fact, I actually had very similar problems with Slay the Spire as I did with Underbind. Uh, it was kind of a... It was a two-fold problem. It was... I was one of the more prominent players for both games when both games first came out. And, you know, to some degree still am. Uh... Hey, I got it. Normally, I don't manage to actually intercept him. Uh, and unfortunately, there's a small population of any game's fan base that is kind of toxic. Uh, and I made that jump. I didn't believe I would. Uh, and it it varies. Some games can be better. Some games can be a lot worse. Uh, and for the most part, it wasn't too bad with Undermine. Uh, but there was that small population that just wouldn't shut up about all the things that I missed. And it always sucked a little bit, because I wanted to play more. And so, it was kind of the same... feel with, um... Yeah, there's no point in checking. Or maybe there is. Maybe you can do this right. Well, that works for me. Uh... But, you know, people that wouldn't shut up about, like, me missing some super obvious thing. Or in Slay the Spire, it was... Uh, you know what? Let's leave that. I don't really like war paint. I don't really care for either of these. I like these better. These are a lot better. Same thing with the Lighthouse crowd? Yeah. I, the Lighthouse crowd was at least slightly more polite, but they were incessant. Okay. We're, we are good. And I don't think... I, I don't think I have the personal... Ooh, tent? Adds a tent to the starting room of a floor. One use only. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't think I have the right personality that can kind of deal with that sort of thing. Some people... Some people can absolutely deal with, you know, just getting things shouted at them endlessly. Most people just kind of shut it out. And I like to respond to my audience. And so I've always been a little bit... Uh, I guess more aggressive about... Not necessarily standing up for myself, because I, I feel like that's kind of a false equivalency here. Eh, sort of. Uh, but shutting that, that sort of negative behavior down earlier, if I can. And you know what? Sometimes that is absolutely abrasive, and I, I totally get that. And so it was just easier for, I think, everybody involved for me to just take a, a chill pill and a break and regain my enthusiasm for this game. Same thing with Slay the Spire, which was I played too much of it, and there were a lot of people that were just like, misplay, misplay. Like, uh, I actually had to block that, uh, that phrase on YouTube because it was just the most common word anybody used when I was playing Slay the Spire. I just got kind of tired of that. Dicey dungeons, too. Like, if there's a roguelike I've quit half the time, it's either because I got super tremendously bored of it, or because there was just some small portion of everybody that just could not handle me. Okay. Do we go looking for... No, let's save our boss bombs. I was going to say, do we go looking for the secret room? And the answer is, eh, nah. 
Okay. Also, I totally missed some other things. Uh, let's see. So, did I miss too much? Nope. I guess I just missed here on uh, CZ for the 500 bits. And little Timmy KYS for the 85 bits as well. But I think he's already gone. Um, okay. So, first. So, basically, the audience ruins the game sometimes. Very occasionally. Uh, I... Again, I try very hard to, like, kind of crack down on it before it becomes this issue. Um, so, I guess the easy ex easiest example is my, my ban list on YouTube has gotten kind of long. Just because, like, I... Well, okay. Different story, uh, kind of similar vein. Shell got a comment recently from... Um, Shell got a comment recently from a guy that was negging on me, positive towards her, and kind of creepy. And uh, and I was like, oh, I, I bet he's, you know, just kind of trying to pull the, the nice guy syndrome to make himself look more attractive. And Shell, being the actual nice person that she is, uh, responded kindly and, like, tried to kind of open up a dialogue. And the guy followed up with effectively... Hmm? Oh, I'm mixing two guys together? Oh. Sorry, she gets a lot of these comments, but effectively, like, it's not uncommon for her to get a, a comment negging on me, um, in kind of a, uh, a roundabout way of appealing to her, uh, and that sort of thing is real uncomfortable, and, uh, yeah, and... You know, I've actually totally lost exactly where I was going with this one originally, but effectively... I I will detect, I guess, that, that first comment, you know, the, the kind of telltale sign that this person's going to have this kind of response. And, you know, maybe I'll engage with them as, if it's not too, too creepy. I'll say something, uh, see what their response is. But, like, it's not uncommon for me to just get, like, a real creep show uh, of a response and then just be like... Yeah, this person just does not deserve the right to comment on my videos. And that has actually really helped, I think. That realization that people don't actually need to. Ooh, talisman. Tempting. Yeah, let's grab it. Let's see if we get anything else good. Eh, potion of plenty, maybe. The rest of this is kind of okay. I'll grab some bombs. Pretty much always need them anyway. Also identify bots on YouTube. Oh yeah, bot. Well, bots are easy. You want to be YouTube friends? Like that's it. Uh, there's been a swath of compromised accounts recently being used to uh, being used to aggressively advertise. Uh, yeah. So s sometimes it'll be they do generic first la name last name, but there's a lot of other like emails that are probably somebody's, you know, Gmail account that they weren't careful with their password, and suddenly it's sending out spam advertisements for, not Raid Shadow Legends, but, like, that, well, okay, no, it's, it's way worse. It's usually, like, scam VPN companies or something like that that are just, like, uh, in fact, I have one of this, e one of these emails on my phone right now, uh, maybe when we hit a slow point, uh, or between a level or something, I'll grab it and pull it out so you guys can, uh, hear exactly what it is. And maybe, maybe, you know, not all of them are bad, but a lot of them are just not okay. Okay, there's a secret over there. Hey! Okay, what do we get? Throw speed? Throw speed. My throw speed is out of hand, and I love it. Okay. I was gonna comment that in Zog. People nowadays have no clue what a meaningful relationship is and assume because they watch or give money that deserve attention more than gratitude. Here's a dollar, save my name. We're best friends now. I, yeah. That one's kind of a weird, dark side of psychology, especially because everybody's trapped indoors. Um, but I, I've definitely noticed that kind of feeling of one-sided relationships becoming more common. Uh, that said, I can't fault people too much for running into that problem just because of the way the world is. Well, that kind of didn't work, but that's fine. It's 
okay. Ow. I- Ow! Oh, there was a- There was a freaking mine. Now, let's go heal up a little bit. Oh. I do have a potion plot. Nah, 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 nah. Let's leave that for a little bit. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Uh, drop some useful things. I'll get another potion of plenty. Squander your money early. A long time ago, somebody was yelling at me because I waste all my money early on. But the answer is no. You actually want to waste your money early on. The better, the better the edge you have. Uh, as early as possible, the uh, the better the rest of your run is going to go. Not to not to mention the uh, the financial benefit is minimal at best. No boss. Weird. I don't remember dying last time. Maybe just no bosses spawn unless I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Recently finished watching Dragon Quest Builders 2. Looking for another series to binge. Uh, well, if you haven't if, if you haven't seen Dragon Quest Builders 1, I'd recommend that one. For much the same reasons. Uh, let's see. What other games would kind of fit? Graveyard Keeper? Maybe Graveyard Keeper. Animal Crossing was fun. Not the same, though. I was expecting Animal Crossing to be... more dynamic, I guess. Because if, if I could have a cross between Dragon Quest Builders and, like, Animal Crossing, I think I'd be very happy. Maybe? Maybe. I, I think I'd need a little bit more. Okay. Didn't get him. Busted a lot up. How I didn't take a shit ton of damage? Kind of beyond me. How I didn't get poisoned in all of that? Also beyond me. Have I even taken a hit in this room? No, I've actually healed. Oh, no, no. I healed on the tent. Whatever, it's fine. Everything is good. I, I'm i going to say I aced that. Despite everything, and that's okay. Uh, let's see. The answer is also always Chroma Squad. Yes. Chroma Squad is just such a beautiful, beautiful experience. That was a good game. I want to play more of it. Uh, what other games have I played that I really enjoyed? I had tons. Oh! Uh, not at all in the same vein, but Outer Wilds? Real good. And... A little different, but I really, really recommend Disco Elysium if you've got the the time and the emotions to invest into that game. It it's definitely kind of a grain of salt kind of recommendation because it's a very slow burn. Uh, do we go for the purge potion? Yeah, screw it. But Disco Elysium, very slow burn, very cool. Problem is, it doesn't really fit the whole. Uh, It doesn't really fit the whole, uh... Eh. There's the poison. I was trying to avoid that. Man, if I could get the heal on gold thing, I'd be in a happy spot. Nope. There we go. What does the banner do? I forget. Move attack and throw speed at the beginning of a battle. Cool? That's gonna throw me off a little bit. What else is there that I really enjoyed? Uh, Slime Rancher actually might be a good one if you're looking for more. Ah! Uh, for more, like, sort of, uh, Dragon Quest Builders style games. My problem is there are very few, like, good town management settlement games. And that's actually, that's a bit of a letdown. Because I'd play a heck of a lot more of them if I could. Damn it. I'm not paying attention. I was paying attention to the gold and the fireballs. And I need the vortex ring. Well, whatever. It's okay. Uh whatever the ring is that makes it so you uh so you just suck up gold. I need that. Bad. Oh, 
Yeah, I I keep hoping somebody from the indie uh, indie development side of things picks up like the Dragon Quest Builder style, but actually takes it uh, to the fullest extent if possible. Let's see, how would you rate the game play or Prey? Uh, since I know you did a series on that, I loved Prey. Prey is I know everybody loved Bioshock, but Prey was the first time the Bioshock formula really uh, uh, really appealed to me. I liked Bioshock enough, but I think anything anything fantasy or sci-fi always appeals to me more than anything that is like kind of old timey, uh, and that that one let me down a little bit. Uh, but. Playing Prey was just so good, and it makes me kind of sad that we're probably never going to see another Prey in the same vein, or a follow-up, because I don't think it did well. Gosh darn it. I think I'd actually be better off just taking the hit here. No, it both hurt just about as much. This environment is rough. Running into these crossbowmen is not easy. Ow. Uh, I'm looking forward to their next game, which I think is called uh, Deathloop. I think it's Deathloop. But that game looks like it's going to be hopefully amazing. Oh, let's see, haven't found any secrets. I got seven bombs. It's not the end of the world. I don't know if I tested an explosive. Nope. Go down. Anything here? I tried an explosive in this room. And nothing. Same feelings. Absolutely loved it. Prey was the game of the year for you. Atmosphere that uh, made it amazing. I really liked Moon Crash as well. I was, I was kind of disappointed they didn't follow up on that more. It was a little meta progression heavy as far as roguelikes go, but it was such a choice experience. I am squandering all of my bombs. I don't know if this is a good, good plan. Oh, nothing. Where the hell are the secrets? Could be on the exit. Well. Uh, let's see. Do I heal up? I probably should. Okay. We finally found one after like a billion bombs. I like Binding of Isaac's logic for finding secrets. It's a little more holistic. This one gives you more explosives so it's easier to find them, but at the same time. There we go. That brings me back up to full health. That was arguably worth it, all things considered. See, Prey didn't stick the landing for you. The pacing towards the ending shifted f gears from slow to insane. Yeah, I I think that's true of almost any horror game, though. Um, because I I had the same feeling with uh, Resident Evil, uh, both the originals and the remasters, is that after a certain point. They had to raise the stakes, at which point it became kind of a different game. Uh, maybe less so with the, like, OG Resident Evil. Ow. Oh, he's still alive. Or, I didn't even notice him there. I was so focused on the beetles, trying to finish a couple of them off before they started popping. Ow. I'm just gonna take Dangbidge. Let's see, you didn't like Moon Crash. Your playstyle with the game is slow and careful. I... I enjoyed Moon Crash mainly because it was an interesting alternative take on the roguelike or the roguelite formula from a AAA studio, and there are very few of those. And so I liked the idea of it, and honestly, the execution was perfectly fine. Uh, I think I just wish they had uh, refined the gameplay loop a little bit better. Because after a certain point, it became more about hoarding resources so your next run could become easier than about, like, exploration or interesting new things.
Grab the Seer's Blood. And yeah, I, I don't expect every, everybody to like either game. It's just both were su uh, both Prey and Prey Mooncrash were such breaths of fresh air comparatively that like I want more. Dishonored was kind of the same way, but I could never get into it just because of the uh, the high chaos, low chaos dichotomy. Mainly because like it felt like it locked me off of playstyle. I wish it had purely been based on my decisions. Uh, as opposed to my gameplay. Which is odd, because, like... Uh, normally, I, I would say I like it when it's based on my gameplay. But that was a game where I was just like... I I felt like I couldn't do the fun things. Let's grab Kurt, Kurtz's stash. So if I remember right, I need ten, ten curses or ten more curses. I forget. We'll have to stick... Uh, Grab some more. Like I would have, I would have understood it if it uh been dishonored. I would have understood it if chaos was like, do you unleash this horde of rats to distract the enemies? But like, I should have still been able to like kill people and dispose of their corpses quietly. Like I'd actually love to play a uh, a CRPG version of Dishonored, where. You kind of have the modified version of the chaos system, but it's each each character is central to the plot. But if you kill certain ones off, it changes the plot for good or bad. So say you kill a character that is inherently like beneficial uh, to the survival of everyone else in the city. Ow! You know that would make a lot of sense. Uh, you know what? More curses! Uh, let's see. Ooh, blueprint! Sequence breaker! I've been looking for more of those. But, like, I, I guess I just feel like there's an interesting way that you could handle a no, cha no chaos system, and what they went with was a little bit too basic uh, to really make it feel satisfying. Because, yeah, I guess I would just really love to play a game where you're selectively trying to eliminate, uh... Oh, shit. One of these guys was still alive. I had no idea. I was trying to collect my money. Oh, that's fine. Let's see. If I recall correctly, the only way to murder people and get away with it was to rush for the skill that disintegrates bodies on stealth kills. Uh, if you don't leave behind a body, you don't raise chaos. Maybe? But even then, like... I just had such a big toolbox and I spent all of my time never using it because half of it was, this makes more chaos, and it was just like, no. Uh, let's see. Question from chat. Salty or sweet popcorn? Uh, caramel corn. I'll eat kettle corn occasionally, but I'm not big on it. Regular salty popcorn gets too heady for me too quick. But if it's not too heady, then it just kind of doesn't feel great. But caramel corn is just perfect. Whoops. It's satisfying. It actually makes me feel full. Chocolate popcorn all the way. I don't think I've ever tried that. That, that sounds like regrets. Holy shit, I'm scooty. Since when was I so fast? What did I pick up? What is this regular speed? Because I, I feel like I'm just zipping. Oh, it's the war banner. That's why. I knew that was going to throw me off. Oh, there's my new curse. More mimics than you would like. Excuse me, I like mimics. Uh, items will sometimes duplicate themselves. Yeah. Discover the secret shop. Oh. Whoops. Didn't necessarily mean for that. Or, whoops. Whoops. I forgot how to switch between 
all of these. Well, I found a shop at the very least and cooked some meat. So I guess that worked out beneficially. Double your bombs. That sounds like a reasonable thing to grab. You know what? Let's... Probably should have actually done that before but, uh, doubling my bombs, but that's okay. E and key gets me. Some things. More mimics than you're comfortable with. Says you. Probably should have du duped this. But it is what it is. It's fine. Down to the secret shop. What do we have here? Uh, let's see. Well, we need more keys. Meal ticket. Here's a question. If I were to get the talisman... It does not undo Kurtz's stash. Okay, so I can remove my curses. It, it's more of a matter of how many curses have I accrued. That makes sense, actually. Grab that. Uh, grab some big meat. Yeah, let's grab some big meat. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 